Hey, this is Spectre Ball. I am a gothic musician and also an occultist. And it's a nice night in New York. It has a nice breeze too, walking on a bridge. So in this video, we're going to be talking a bit about Iblis and we're also going to be talking about sigils. Now, but before we do that, consider subscribing, click on that notification bell to be alerted when a new video is available and be sure to click on that like button to make sure that YouTube knows that we exist thing is, when it comes to sigils, there's different sigils in different types of grimoire books and written very differently. When you're trying to contact the spirit to use a sigil, I don't believe it is fully the sigil that contacts the spirit, but the attention of the magician. I don't truly believe that the sigil has to be exact for the spirit to come. Now, some magicians might think differently, but I do not. I really think it has to do with the intention behind the magical purpose that you are do. There's many times I contacted the spirit without the sigil. First, because I already knew the spirit that I'm going to contact, so I already knew the energy. So, the thing is, if you do not have the sigil of the spirit you want to contact, try to do it without the sigil. Have an idea of how the spirit looks and how the spirit is. Many magicians will disagree with me, but that's fine and I am sharing with you my methods of magic. And these methods work. So, moving on to Iblis. Now, I have been working with Iblis for a while. And the camera is a little jittery. I apologize because I did not use my gimbal because I didn't really want to pull on so much weight tonight. This camera is a GH4 and it does not have image stabilization, so I'm going to have to do my best trying to hold the camera steady. Iblis is very interesting. And in my previous video, I talked about him looking very malice at me and fire behind him and an abyss in his eyes. The more I talked to Iblis, the more he changed. And it made me start to think, is he changing because I'm feeling more comfortable with him? Or is it some sort of a defense mechanism that I am building? Or is it from the spirit? Now, I do feel, I do believe there could be some sort of defense mechanism when it comes to contacting the spirit. Because the spirit does not know you, and it's also getting used to the energy that you are projecting. I do believe this. I don't only think it has to do with us. Energies exchange, energies exchange when we are contacting these spirits as energies exchange when we are contacting Cubans. So I do believe the same. Some magicians might not believe that, and that's fine. But on this channel, that's what we talk about. Methods that work. The methods that I share work. And if they work for you, be sure to put them in the comment section because I'm very interested in hearing your experiences oh, and hopefully the content that I bring you helps you get to the goals that you want to get to. So, so that is all for tonight. And I will see you in the next video.